if you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes to hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it's your girl missus and i'm back with another video so in today's video i'm going to be doing a another lipstick swatch video which is not really my favorites to do but i like doing them at the same time because i like to just help anyone out just how i am very intrigued myself when it comes to new lip products okay so just to address the elephant in the room because obviously i've got a lot going on with the eyes i did test out the colorful four palette in collaboration with Stacey and Be Perfect yes Be Perfect so obviously I've done two different eye looks so I'm not too sure if this video is going to go up first but if it does and you're interested I will link it in the description box below but that's why the eyes are a little bit busy tonight so I have tested out all the bomb glosses or bomb lipsticks or lip products in general the original one I'm not too sure if I still have it on my channel because the camera quality was dreadful my face looked so white compared my, to my body and it's not because I made a bad decision on my makeup it was literally just the lighting and the camera quality the shimmer bomb glosses which attacked me poor pink why is it why is it oh my god why is it doing that what kind of foolishness <laughs> anyway the hydro bomb glosses and now we're trying out the matte ones so i've got five shades in total i'm definitely going to show you guys what they look like on its own and also finesse them with a lip liner because these retail for six pound a piece and i'm not gonna lie i wasn't really a huge fan with the shades they look very pale and dusty so when it came out with this launch i wasn't too excited because i'm not usually a matte liquid lipstick type of person and then secondly the shades wasn't really calling my name so i only picked up five so the component looks like pretty much the other pout bomb glosses but these have more of like a matte frosty look to them i actually do like how each component represents the collection because with the hydro ones they have more of the water drops on them the shimmer ones are just like regular so i actually do like how they differentiate the packaging with each collection this shade is called nude charm and new charm is a stunning soft brown it's got a scent to it definitely got a scent to it it's got a it says a nude brown i would say it was more of a nude peachy brown but let's just see how this looks like on my lips okay so application is <laughs> i can't take myself seriously application does <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. Vacation is definitely not going to be on 10. But um, immediately, it's starting to dry down and I'm starting to feel the tackiness. I'm going to try not to keep these products on my lips for too long because I don't want the hassle of like wiping them off. It looks crazy, but I can see the potential. Just for reference, I am going to use my Morphe lip liner in a shade trendsetter. Okay, so considering that my application is not done properly because I'm afraid of it drying and drying and drying, I can see the nude effect. Personally, this is not like my favorite nude. It's more of like that sort of pale nude. Yeah, it's more of that pale nude. So I will have to be in the mood to wear this nude. <laughs> that rhymes. So I wouldn't say this is like, yeah, I wouldn't say this is my favorite nude. It's a cute nude and I think it would be more suitable for like medium tones but for dark skin for someone like myself should I say this is not my favorite go-to nude you know so the next one I'm going to try out is nude allure and that is described as a gorgeous soft nude so once again you guys know me my love a nude yeah Stephanie still a really light nude though that's more pinkier than the first one so once again very dusty looking like i ate donut and with these type of nude shades they apply very pigmented because it's very stark looking but when you do have color on your lips you can slightly see it through the shade but yeah this is not like i mean i do love a nude but these are not the kind of comfortable nudes that i like to wear on a regular basis <laughs> okay okay so this is the lipstick with the lip liner roughly finessed I say that i do like the shade better these are just the type of nudes that i have to heavily line my lips 
or to apply it on a different shade of lipstick or perhaps to do like a ombre and have it just only in my inner center of my lips not my favorite though but better than the first one so the next one i'm going to try is delicate brown so delicate brown is a versatile and easily wearable chocolate shade a versatile and easily wearable chocolate shade okay okay so that is delicate brown i wouldn't say that's chocolate to me not chocolate in my language sis but it's more of like a marvy brown tone okay so far i would definitely say this is a shade that i prefer um yeah i like this shade more than the others seeing a pattern that these are quite pale shades okay now applying that shade with a lip liner i would definitely say my energy has gone up and then a nice gloss on top mm, yeah and then the next one i have is new magnet and new magnet is a perfect nude for all skin tones this is a perfect nude for all skin tones see you see with things like that yeah them kind of descriptions there a lot to say because all skin tones that is a wide scale it's, this to me is not a perfect nude but yeah see that's not a nude to me that's more pink brother <laughs> yo anyway. This is not, this is not, this is not nude. Very pigmented and the formulas are beautiful by the way, if I haven't said that already. Like, like the formulas are so creamy in a liquid form but soft at the same time. It is a pretty shade but this is not a nude. This is not a nude for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not a nude for me. Again, I really like the shade. I really like the shade especially once it's finesse so cute so girly gives you that sort of cute little vibe personally i would just throw on a gloss because you know me have my steer already made another gloss but it's really really cute i still wouldn't say this is a perfect nude if you're more like fair light skin tone this will look gorgeous on you all the skin tone as well pretty much all skin tones can finesse this but i wouldn't class this as a perfect nude Okay, and then the last shade that I have is Satin Chocolate um, because I had to get some sort of darker shade. Satin Chocolate is described as a head-turning deep reddish brown. So definitely got that deep reddish brown vibe. Probably the most accurate description of the shades that I have in my collection. Oh, oh gosh, yes. Okay, so this is Satin Chocolate. Oh, I love the shades. I love a deep reddy brown, a burgundy colour, a plummy colour. I do love these type of shades. Obviously, I personally wouldn't wear them every day because that's just not my style. But this, with the black hair, can anyone have a chat for me? So these are all the liquid lipsticks that I personally collected out of this collection. I know I look so crazy with this eye, this eye and this lip, but you guys pretty much understand what i'm trying to do here the formulas are really nice like they're very creamy and li not liquidy to the point it's runny but it's a nice creamy liquid lipstick glides on so beautifully and then they literally dry very quickly to the point that once you apply it on your lips you start to feel the tackiness this one is obviously resting on my lips longer and um, they still feel tacky it doesn't feel completely dry so in terms of that drying feeling I'm not feeling that now. It still feels like my lips are quite moisturised, but it's just tacky at the moment. I don't feel it when it's dry to the point that I can do this and feel no sort of texture, grittiness, stubbornness on my lips. So, so far it feels comfortable. I'll probably update you guys in the comment section to let you know how it turns out maybe after 20 minutes or so, just to get a bit of an idea. Formulas are nice, quite pigmented obviously for the lighter shades if you've got discoloration having pigmentation or anything of the sort um you will see your natural leaks peek through the only problem not really a problem but the only thing that i wish they had more was more warmer tone shades like besides the deep dark shades 
all the other nude shades, pinky shades are quite ashy, which yet again, you can finesse. But I wasn't in love with the tones and the shades like how I was in love with the Flintstone collection. There was no caramel nudes or peachy nudes or brownie nudes. And that so-called versatile nude for all skin tone, I mean, I don't know where they get that from, yeah? Personally, what I like, I will use them for either ombre effect or if I use them as like my actual base lipstick colour, I will use a different undertone nude lip gloss to finesse it and to bring out a different vibe. Yeah, still tacking. Let me see. Hasn't transferred though. No transfer, but still tacky. But yeah, matte lipsticks are not for me. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, you are going to see back to back looks because I am trying to film as much content as I can because you know the girl was slacking a little bit so I'm trying to get back in the game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave all the shades that I have used in this video in the description box below. So make sure you do check that out and thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it and I would love to see you guys in my next one. Bye! And boom They're punishing like Big up my sister